Welcome to SOLIDWORKS. In this lesson, we'll show you how to make a guitar holder and in this example, how to use Weldman's future and also DOM future. Let's start by creating a new document. Click on new document icon from the standard toolbar. Select part and then OK. Select the right plane and open the sketch. Select the line. OK, let's add some relations. Select this line and hold control and select this point and make midpoint. Select OK. Let's mark the measure. Type 450. Go to zoom to fit. Okay. Now select this line, this point, and hold control and this point, and add make horizontal. Let's mark dimension. Type 160 degrees and select this point and type 610 millimeters. Okay, and also add here the same value. Okay. Now exit the sketch. Go to the reference geometry and select new plane. For the first reference point, select this point here. For the second reference point, select this line. The plane is fully defined. Select OK. Let's open the sketch. Select this plane and open the sketch. Go to the circle tool. Find the origin. OK. Let's smart dimension the circle. Type 30 millimeters. Select OK. Let's hide this plane, exit the sketch, click on plane, and select hide. Go to the futures and select speed both base. For the profile, select the circle and for the path, select this line. Go to the options. Select path alignment type, select minimum twist. Go to the thin future and select 2 mm. Select reverse direction. OK. Go to the front view, to the right view. OK. Now Let's add one gusset over here. Go to the front plane and set the reference plane. For distance, type 45 millimeters. Select OK. Open a sketch in this plane and go to normal tool view. Select the corner rectangle tool and 
make a sketch here. Okay. Go to center line. That's smart dimension. Type two millimeters. And select point, select this point here. At this point and hold control and this center line and make it midpoint. Okay. That's my dimension. Type 15 millimeters. Let's move it. Here. Here, okay. Let's add this point here. Let's not dimension this point. Okay, type two hundred. Sorry, add it, type one hundred. Okay, then select this line and this point and make dimension of 80 millimeters. Now exit sketch and go to isometric view. Go to extrude both base. Go to reverse direction and select up to next. OK. Let's hide this plane. And go to the chamfer command. 5 millimeters. 45 degrees. And make chamfer. Now we are going to add a fillet bead here. To add a fillet bead, we need to open a weldments tab. If you don't have a weldments tab, go to the whatever tab and right click and open weldments. Okay, click on weldments and select fillet bead. For fillet bead command, select full lathe. For fill side, select 2 mm. For first face set, select this face. For second face set, select this face. Oh. Let's edit this extrude both base, edit future, and uncheck a merge result. Okay. Now go to the fillet bead. Select this face and then select this face. Now we have a virtually preview here of our fillet bead. Select OK. Let's edit the material. Select plain carbon steel and let's make some appearances different let's change color for color select this this type of black and select OK now we have our first part and we are going to save it go to the file save as and select as leg
ok open a new part go to new icon new part ok select the top plane open a sketch go to corner rectangle tool for rectangle type select center rectangle choose origin and draw a rectangle Okay, let's smart dimension this rectangle. Type 1160 millimeters. And for this side, 400 millimeters. Let's add some fillet, sketch fillet. For the radius, Type 100 and select this point, this point, this point, and this point, and then select OK. Now let's exit the sketch, go to isometric view, and go to reference. Geometry. Select plane. For the first reference, select this dot. For second, this line. Select OK. Let's open sketch in this plane. Let's draw a circle. Find the center point. OK. Let's mark the measure in the circle. Type. 30 millimeters. Let's exit the sketch. Let's hide the plane. Go to Sweet Bold Base command. For the profile, select the circle. And for the path, select this contour line. OK. Select Options. And for Path Alignment Type, select Minimum Twist. For the thin future, select 2 millimeters and reverse direction. Then select OK. Now we have our part. OK, next. Select top plane and open the sketch. Go to the top view and select the circle. Let's draw a circle here and here and let's smart dimension circles. And let's type 200. Go to the center line. Draw a center line here and draw it here ok let's smart dimension this type 100 and for diameter type 8.5 millimeters select this circle and hold control and select this circle and make equal. Now select this point and this point and make it vertical. Okay. Now let's smart dimension. Type 15 millimeters. Okay. Now the sketch is fully defined. Let's go to Mirror Entities tool 
select the circles and for the mirror about select this center line and then select OK go to isometric view go to features and extruded cut command for the extruded cut select arrow for down OK and select OK now we have extruded holes on both sides OK let's set material steel plain carbon steel apply close Let's set some appearances. This. Okay. And let's save this part. Go to the File menu, Save as, Save as Holder. Okay. Now let's go to the window and go to the leg. We previously created this part, but if we forget to add some holes also on this part. So go to the top view, select sketch, go to normal to view, select circle, Select Smart Dimension and let's dimension type 200 and from this point 100 millimeters type 8.5 millimeters and also this one let's make it horizontal or vertical Vertical. OK. Let's go on isometric view. Go to the Futures tab and Extrude Cut. For the Extrude Cut and Condition, select Mid Plane. For the Depth, type 40 mm and select OK. Now we have our part cut extruded. We got our holes. OK, let's save this part. OK, that will be all. Now let's open a new part. Go to New, Part, OK. For the plane, set Front Plane and open the sketch. Select Corner Rectangle Tool. For Rectangle Tab, select Center Rectangle. And draw a rectangle. Okay, let's mark the measure this rectangle. Type 1160 millimeters. And here type 1000 millimeters on or one meter. Let's sketch some fillets. For the fillet radius, type 150 millimeters and select this point and this point. And select OK. OK again. Select this line and select contraction geometry. Now exit the sketch. Go to isometric view. 
Now let's go to the plane and for the first reference select this point here. For the second reference select this line here and select OK. Let's make sketch. Select circle tool. Find the center. Let's start dimension this circle and type 30 millimeters. And exit the sketch. Let's hide this plane. Go to the sweep both base command. For the profile, select the circle. For the pad, select this pad. Okay, options, minimum twist and make this future thin. Okay, two millimeters in reverse direction. And select OK. Now we have our future. Okay, next. Go to the front plane. Select front plane and select reference plane. For the reference distance, select 150 millimeters and select OK. Let's open sketch in this plane and click normal to view. Let's draw a circle. Okay, let's mark the measure this. But before of that, let's make a center line. Select this point and draw a center line. Okay, let's center line also here. Okay, let's mark the measure. Type 230 millimeters. Distance between two circles is 100 millimeters. Uh -huh. We have this accidentally make a relations with this axis here so click on this and click delete on your keyboard okay now it's movable now go to smart dimension and type 200 millimeters OK. Now let's smart dimension this circle and type 30 millimeters. OK. Now let's select this circle and this edge here and make it tangent. OK. Now select this point and hold control and select points of, of every circle. And make it horizontal. Okay, now select the circle and also hold control and select all the circles.
and make it equal. Select OK. Now we have our sketch fully defined. OK. Then let's exit the sketch. Go to the geometric view and let's hide this plane. Go to the extruded mode base and select this sketch. For direction, select reverse direction. And for the end condition, select up to next. Then select in future command and select 2 millimeters. And select the reverse command. OK. Then select OK. Now let's in here on these edges extra thin. Let's edit this future and uncheck merge result checkbox and select OK. Now we can add our weldment command fillet bead. Go to fillet bead and select two millimeters full weight. And select this face and this face. Select keep visible and select OK. Let's go to the other one. OK. Now we have our fillets our beads okay let's cancel this okay now let's make the gusset over right over here but before of that we need to go to the front plane select front plane and open a sketch. Select a circle command and let's mark dimension this circle. And type 30 diameter of 30 millimeters. Okay, let's draw a line right over here. Let's mark dimension this line. From this point to the this point and type 8 millimeters okay let's go to trim entities tool let's trim this side of the circle and this one go to the line command and draw a line like I do. Okay. Go to center line command and draw a vertical axis. Okay. Go to mirror entities. Select this. For mirror about, select this axis and select OK. Now go to a fully defined sketch and go to all select entities in sketch click on calculate and select OK now our sketch fully is defined go to isometric view and exit the sketch go to the futures tab and then click on extruded cut for the end condition extruded cut select mid plane and for the depth, type 40 millimeters. And select OK. Now we have our cut extrude future done. OK. Go to the front plane. And 
click on front plane, go to isometric view, and let's make a plane here. For the distance, type 35 millimeters. Okay, and select OK. Let's open a sketch in this plane tree. Go to center line. Okay, go to corner rectangle tool. Let's undo this, go to corner rectangle again, okay, let's mark dimension this, type 1 millimeter, For height, type 30 millimeters. Okay, now let's go to center line. Go to mirror entities tool, select this sketch and mirror about this axis and OK. Go to isometric view and exit the sketch. Let's hide this plane. Go to extrude both base. For the select plane final face on edge on which sketch creature cross section or existing sketch, select existing sketch. For the direction, select reverse direction. And for end condition, select up to next. Uncheck the merge result. OK. Now we have our second gasset. Now let's add some chamfers over here. For chamfer distance, type 5 millimeters for angle 45. And select this edge here and this edge here. Also, set this edge here. Okay. Then again, transfer this edge, this edge. Okay. Now let's open a sketch on this face. Sketch and go to normal tool view. Select circle tool and let's draw a circle. Let's mark the dimension. Type 6.5 millimeters. Let's exit the sketch and go to the extruded cut command. For the condition, select truth all. Go to isometric view and here we see the preview. Select OK. Now we have our truth all hole. Now let's go to Wellman's tab and select fillet bead. For fill bead type, select intermittent. For fill size, select 2 mm. For bead late, 3 mm. F of which, 6 mm. And select this face and this face. Okay. Let's change this value to OK. 
7 millimeters bead pitch now select ok let's do it on the other side also repeat a little this face and this face ok go to the metric view Let's add material. Choose pl plain carbon steel. Let's save this part. Like frame. OK. Now we need to add some soft material on these handles right here and this tube and now go to the surface tab and select offset surface for offset surface distance select 5 millimeters for surface of faces to offset select this face and select OK Let's do it again. Okay, now select Taken command. For Taken parameter, select 4.9 millimeters and uncheck Merge result. Select this surface here. Go to Taken again, uncheck Merge result. OK. Now let's add some color. Change appearances. OK. Click on this. Select OK. Select Auto Show and choose Organic. Miscellaneous select sponge Just drag and select this face and choose from this shortcut menu, choose Thicken. OK. Let's hide out show. And we now have our soft material. Now for holding this soft material, we need here a cap, another type, made from of plastic. OK, let's go to the Rebuild Future. Select Appearances, select Color. OK, 
here, select color for all ticking features. Select color, select black or gray. Black it is. Okay. Now it's look good. Okay. Go to rebuild and save. Now let's open a new document. New part. Select OK. Go to the front plane and open a sketch. Select circle tool. Let's draw a circle. Type 30.5 millimeters. And let's also the entities select this circle and for the offset distance select two millimeters and select OK. Select this circle and go to construction geometry. OK. Let's go to isometric view. Go to Futures tab and click on Extrude Build Base command. For Extrude Base tab, type 40 millimeters. Select OK. Now let's add some fillet. Fillet at 5 millimeters. Select this edge. OK. And now choose Shell command. Select this face here. And click on Show Preview. For the thickness, go to 2 millimeters. Select OK. OK. Now let's add some chamfer on this edge here. Click on chamfer, type 1 mm chamfer, and select OK. Material, for material choose, go to plastics and find polyethylene, high density. Click on apply and close. Let's go to File and save this part. Save as Cap. OK, let's open a new part again. And select Front Plane and open the sketch. Go to the Circle tool. Let's mark dimension the circle and type 26 millimeters. Go to the features, extrude both base and type 30 millimeters. Select OK. Now let's create a sketch on this face. Let's sketch and draw another circle. Dimension it a millimeter while it will be 35 millimeters. Select OK. Go to Futures and go to Extrude Both Base. Select 2 millimeters, 3 millimeters, and select OK. Now we are going to add a dome. Future. We don't have our DOM futures in our futures here. So go to the insert, 
Futures, DOM. For the face to DOM, select this face here. For the distance, type 2 millimeters. And select elliptical DOM. Let's change this distance, type, let's say, 5 millimeters. That looks better. OK. We have a preview and select OK. Now we can see our DOM. Let's add some fillets here. And chamfer on this edge here. For chamfer distance, type 1 millimeter. Select OK. For material, select plastic polyethylene. Also high density. OK. Rebuild and let's save this part. File, save as. Cap 2. Save. Now let's go to the new. And open a new assembly. Click on new assembly and select OK. In the begin assembly window, we have our documents, which is open in our window tab. You can see it right here. Okay. Let's click on keep visible button and choose. Let's enter a leg. Put it right here. Let's enter a holder, put it right here, frame, put it right here, cap, this is cap 2, put it right here, and cap in here, here, and here. And OK. Now we have our all elements in here, and only thing we need to do now is to make assembly. Let's mate them. Click on the mate command, and let's mate this one. Select this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face. Select concentric and select OK. Now let's select this face and this face and make it coincident. Add finish mate. Okay, let's do it on the other side also. Let's add this contracting and anti-aligned. OK. Now it looks better. Now let's choose this face and this face here. OK. Let's take this hole and also this hole here. OK. Let's choose this hole here. And this hole here. And make it concentric. OK. And let's choose this face and this face. And make it tangent. And make it OK.
let's select OK to mate and let's open new mate. Now let's select this face here and this face here. Select OK. Let's move a little bit. Okay. Now let's select this face and this face here. Okay. And let's select this face and this face. Select OK. This looks good. Okay. And select OK. We can see on this side we need to add a new leg. So go to the mirror components. For mirror plane, select open a holder and find a right plane. For components to mirror, select cap, leg and cap and go to the next now we can see the preview if the preview is right we can choose OK if the preview is not right we can go to the next step next step on create opposite hand version We can see the preview and preview is OK. Let's select OK. Now we have perfectly assembled our guitar holder. Let's save this file. Go to File, Save As. Type guitar holder. Okay. Now we need to add this cap right here. Go to the mains, select this face and this face here. Select OK. Then select this face and this face here. Select OK. Now we need to add this cap on others tubes right here. Go to the magic view, zoom a little bit, and go to the circular linear component pattern. Go to the view menu and select temporary axis. Now we see the temporary axis and select axis right here. You see the point arrow pointing in the right direction. OK, that's the right direction. Choose number of instances. OK. For the distance, choose 100 millimeters. And for components to pattern, choose a component. Let's add another one. OK. We can see in here we have these components, but they don't need us. Need us, okay? We don't need them. So let's click to instances to skip. We want to skip these two components, okay? And select this dot here, and select this dot here, and select OK. Now we have our cap in every position. Go to the view and hide temporary axis. Go to the metric and click save. Now we can see we have sponge here but to put our guitar this is a three place guitar one for one two three guitar. To put our guitars here we also need sponge over here or our holder. So let's edit this holder 
click on the holder and open a part. Go to the surface and go to the offset surface and for the offset distance type 5 millimeters and select this face and other space and select OK. Let's save this part. Go to the window and go to the guitar holder assembly. Let's rebuild assembly. OK. Now let's add material here. Go to the appearances. Go to the organic, miscellaneous, and choose sponge again. OK. Let's change color of this. For color, choose black. Select OK. Rebuild and save. Now it's look OK. This is a final piece of the puzzle and this is our guitar holder. Only thing we can do now is to make simple rendering. Go to tools, insert, tools, aliens and add Photo works. Select OK. OK. Go to Photo works menu and click on Render. And voila, this is our guitar holder. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Thank you and have a nice day.